I want to show you the HSM for Windows REST API that we have implemented in the 819 release. The story behind it is that an administrator uh, wants to have the ability to connect to HSM managed file servers, and preferably from one place. And so he can display HSM monitoring and configuration data in a web application, and so that the file servers are not running out of space. The HSM for Windows has client has includes the REST API so that web applications can, and especially I'm, we are talking about Prometheus and Grafana, can connect to the REST API, can make use of it, can display nice graphics with HSM data. This helps the customers to get better control of their file server disk usage and also helps them to control if the right data is migrated, occasions are occurring where too many files are recalled and so on. Yeah, and this is uh, the, the setup, how this works together. In the middle, there is a, a web server system with FANA and Prometheus installed. So we designed our REST API so that those open systems can make use of or can pull data from HSM servers. So the Prometheus is a monitoring system, open source platform that includes a time series database that collects the metrics. This system can also show the data, display the data. It works very well together with the Grafana open source analytics system that can prepare even better graphics. So it's quite easy to create a dashboard with all desired graphics so that the end user can open in the browser this Grafana service and see dashboards with the data from HSM. On the HSM server side, so there are various HSM nodes Prometheus can connect to. The new pieces are here in the, the yellow color uh, for that are needed for the REST API. There is a new service, the HSM net service that listens on port 8888 per default. And the other modules are there to process events coming from our HSM service, for example, for the recalls or coming from threshold migration, from which is performed in the HSM monitor, and also uh, for job migration or administrator recalls from the DSM CLC process. So such events are patched with the DSM export module current key value pairs are stored in a small DSM database, it's an SQLite database. Those value, key value pairs can be pulled by the Prometheus, and then stored in the time series database so that such nice graphics can be prepared. Yeah, so the response that HSM sends to Prometheus is in plain text format. And these are key value pairs. Yeah, then I come to this new README file that's, that describes uh, what has to be done. Make use of the REST API. We will start this video that demonstrates the HSM metrics. We will show to start the net service and the Prometheus and Grafana. So the certificate process has been done already. So here in the service panel, you see the new service. Start it manually and the Prometheus server can be started in a command shell, shows when it's running. And the same for the Grafana, it's the Grafana server exe. Now the server, server is also running. Then we want to start, create some migration and recall activity. When first the uh, Prometheus is opened in the browser, then since the HSM service is um, already started, you can see the metrics here. They can be collected from the menu. We have no data points yet because there was no HSM activity yet. This will be started soon. 
it's similar for the Grafana. It's opened in the browser window. And, uh, we have prepared an HSM for Windows dashboard. There are no data points right now, but for the volume usage, they will appear soon because they are available when the HSM net service is running. For migration and recalls, there are no data points yet. So now there you see 30% used percent for volume C, 16 for volume E. A job is started or a script file that migrates files and recalls files so that we get values metrics in the and change to last 15 minutes. And you, you can see that some data points are occurring for migration. They're on the right side in this diagram. There is the first data points are showing up. Uh, we show this graph again after 30 minutes when uh, much more data has been generated. So this here are the HSM migrated files in the Prometheus view, which is not as nice as Grafana, but it's there. And in the Grafana dashboard also, you can see the, all the data that has been generated in the last 30 minutes. Of course, the scale and the, it can be adjusted to your needs. The cursor points to a data point, then this point is displayed, exact data for it. And the different colors show the different values for a successful migration or failures and so on. And the last step in the video is that we want to show how to add a new graph to the panel, that it is quite easy to do that. So just need to add a query and here again uh, there is a menu when you start typing it shows what is offered for HSM. These are the key values, the key uh, names for this matrix, so HSM recalled files and it displays uh, this counter, but you also have the possibility to use functions as, for example, here the rate, recalled files per second, for example, and the, a mean is created for a mid. So now you see the rate, recalled files, panel title can be defined called files per second. So there are no failures in this example. Blue curve is the success rate for recalled files. So now the size of the graph can be adjusted so it fits perfectly in the dashboard. Okay, so that's finished then. From these curves, administrators can watch if peaks are occurring for recalls that are not normal, especially uh, if they have, for example, a scanner that's recalling a lot of files or if, if some users are copying folders and, and unintended recalls are happening or also if the migration rates are going up, this also could be a hint that too many files are recalled and the migration criteria might not be optimal. So this can be seen uh, much easier on such graphics. That's uh, all I have. Thank you.